morning from Pontianak. It's bright and early in the morning here and we are a little bit hungry. So what we've decided to do today is we put together a list of places uh, that we can go to do a bit of a Pontianak food tour, which we haven't seen much of online. So Halef has come up with this. He's put together nine things, yep. of which we're going to do at least six. Yeah, some are just like you know, dessert and some are like supposedly massive portion. So we're gonna just explore and if you see something interesting along the way, we keep adding and yeah. adjusting our list. We don't know if we'll get to all these, but they are all good foods. And we wanna show you that Pontianak is just not a place to come to walk around on the equator, but it's also a place that has pretty decent food today as well. All right, let's get it started. The first place we're going is a place Hala found online that we can grab coffee first thing this morning. I don't know specifically why he chose it, but I'm going to guess that it has something to do with the shirtless barista. This is the uh, Warung Kopi Asyam. They said the coffee here is really good, but the very unique thing about this place is the barista. He's such a legend and he's preparing everything just shirtless and coffee's flying around. The way he does it, it looks like a tectaric in Malaysia. So he just kind of pour it from way above. So just cool off as it approaches your cup. So we're gonna give it a try. This is a coffee to start our food tour today. In Indonesia, a lot of coffee shops will give you soup spoon that you might get in a lot of Chinese or Korean noodle places. They give it to you because the coffee is so hot that it's nice to let your spoon just sit like that, let it cool off for a second, and then take a slurp. And by the way, this coffee is really, really strong. We've already had a couple of coffees today, so this is gonna really make us wire. But it's really good. Well, we just finished what was probably one of the strongest but delicious coffees that I've ever had. And uh, I'm gonna be a little shaky for the rest <laughs> of the day, but that's okay. Uh, we're on our way to our next place, which is... Bubur Ikan Ahyong. Ah, okay. You know what? I haven't met an Indonesian food so far that I didn't like, so yeah. I'm gonna be good with it. Kita simpan rahasia supaya Michael nggak tahu. I don't know what that meant. <laughs> so one of the things that you have to do when you're on the equator is you have to navigate from here to here very often because the sun is hot and when you've got nice white boule skin like me, that's a recipe for disaster. I've caked myself in sunscreen, but I'm also staying in the shadows as much as possible because no bueno getting all red. Go, 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 go. Ah! We are here in Bubur Ikan Ahyang, but unfortunately they're not open. I don't know why they're not open. Oh, memang tutup hari ini yeah. itu. He informed me that's actually a similar place about three houses down. Rumah Makan Borneo is where you can get the uh, fish porridge. Let's go in. What you getting, Michael? We are getting something called Bubu Rikan, which is a fish porridge. And I don't know what any of these types of ikan are. Oh, that's soup, yeah, gitu ya. Pake yeah, nasi, soup gitu. ikan, pake nasi. Tapi aslinya memang namanya Bubu Rikan. Oh. It's fascinating to watch him cook. One thing that I learned about bubur ikan is that it's not the true bubur, which actually means a porridge, but it's basically a fish soup and then served with rice. On our table here, we have two different styles. One is basically the what they call the bubur ikan, and the other one, the rice is on separate bowl. All right, first bite. It's very good, it's very fishy, and it's very large. Oh my God, that's all meat. Very delicious. Oh, where are we going next, Michael? I have no idea. You have to list. Boleh satria campur aja semua. Campur aja semua ya. Ah, kayak es campur gitu ya sebenarnya. This is a cold dessert that we found at a street stall right next door to the fish place called Che Hun Tiao. Che Hun Tiao is a mixture of it's kind of a like a sweet milk sauce with shaved ice, red beans which are sweet, these noodles which I don't know what quite what they're called but they are a little sweet as well. And there's this kind of a gelatinous green paste that you commonly see in more Asian Chinese desserts. So let's give it a taste, see how much we like. Well, that's really, really good. I'm really enjoying it. I could almost eat all this, but I know better. Oh, it's refreshing for sure because it's cold, but it's just not super sweet. It is sort of like earthy, a lot of plants flavoring in it. Okay, let's go. Our next destination is the Bubur Pedas Pakna, but I didn't realize that there were actually two locations here in Pontianak and right now we are just grabbing a literally grab just to get to one of these places and it is noon and we are already full but we're gonna keep going right here? Yep Finally we are here in Pakna Bubur Pedas Originally, I thought it's bubur pedas, means like a spicy porridge, but it doesn't seem like it. So I'm gonna wait and see what actually comes up. And this time, we only have one dish because we still have five more to go. 
Ya, makasih ya. Okay, this is Bubur Pedas. As you can see, it's very, very green. So there are a lot of greens in it. I see some bean sprouts, but it's got things like galangal, ginger, turmeric, and a whole bunch of other spices. Uh, we got the Bubur Pedas bakso, which has these four little meatballs here. It comes with a side of peanuts, and I just tasted that because I wanted to know what it was, and it turns out I think it's anchovies, and I didn't like it. But this is a traditional Malay dish from the region, and that's what we're here to try. I don't really know how to eat it. If I could maybe just put a, a meatball in it, give it a go here with maybe a peanut. Oh man, if Indonesians had winter, this would be the perfect soup-ish kind of thing to eat with it. It tastes like it's really good for you. Really good. <laughs> it's, it's heat hot, not spicy hot. First bite. It's really thick juice, right? I mean, the broth is kind of like cooked so long and everything, all the flavors kind of develop. It's really good. You want to put lime in it? Yep. Get a flavor. Oh, that would be a good, good soup here. Oh, absolutely. It just adds a lot of that tangy flavor, but it's perfect. It's really good. I can't believe how inexpensive this dish is. What would be expensive to make in America soup? for 17,000 rupiah, which is $1.25. It's just incredible that we can serve such good food here for so cheap. On our way. All right, time to cross. See if we can do this without getting hit. Watch it, the other side. All right, we get into our grab. <laughs> so next destination is a famous ice cream place. Uh, it's just basically located across from a high school called SMA Sato Petrus. Used to be called the Ice Cream Petrus, but I think they call the names Ice Cream Anji. Before we do that though, I'm going to give uh, you an Indonesian lesson. We say we're going for ice cream, and I'm going to teach you how to say that in Bahasa Indonesia. Okay, ice cream, es cream. Es cream. So now you have it, that's your first Indonesian words today. Es okay. cream. We are going for es cream. What this place is famous for is basically they use a coconut bowl for the ice cream. And it's a homemade ice cream and it is absolutely a destination for Pontianak or dessert. Ada rasanya apa? Coklat, strawberry, vanilla, durian, nangka, green tea, ketan hitam. Durian sama coklat. Makasih. Ya, makasih. I have chocolate ice cream, es cream coklat. And underneath it, there are red beans, or I think maybe mug beans. But the great part about this, is that if you just scrape the sides, you'll get a little of the coconut meat as well. The ice cream is absolutely delicious, but the addition of the red beans and coconut, it just makes it incredible. I love this. I'm glad we got one each. I think I mentioned it before that this is homemade ice cream, and I got a durian, but it is very fresh because there's plenty of durian here, and you can absolutely taste the durian in this ice cream. Love it. Delicious. I love this. Suka. And we're not alone, we actually have new friends. <laughs> this place is packed, so you definitely have to share some tables if you have to, but this is highly recommended. It's really, really good. It's actually good. It smells. Enough. Enough. No, not enough. <laughs> okay. Not gonna lie, the ice cream was my favorite so far. It was absolutely perfect. Met these guys behind us. Uh, his name is also Michael, Daddy Canada. Satu bulan bahasa Indonesia. Tinggal, tinggal di Amerika dengan orang orang ini. But if you're ever here, you need to come here because this was amazing. We ate so much Indonesian food today, and the ice cream has so far been my favorite. Anyway, we are on our way somewhere else right now to get even more food. We're starting to get a little full, but there's always room for Indonesian food in this guy's stomach. The next stop is Nasi Akwang. It was recommended by many locals so far, and we're gonna check out what they have inside. The dish that we can get from Nasi Akwang is called Nasi Campur, mixed rice. And why is it mixed? Because you pretty much put a lot of things into a plate. So it is absolutely connected to the Chinese history of this area because it actually served pork, which is not very common here in Indonesia, but this is one of them. So it has two kinds of roast pork. One is the crispy one, the other one is kind of more like a succulent kind. And you also have eggs pickled cabbage, and also like a broth. I actually think this is duck. Let me just give this a try. I think that's duck. Not that I have a lot of experience eating duck, but I think it is. It's a lot more meat than we've gotten on the nasi champurs in other places that we've had it. 
This is delicious. One of the best things you can get in Indonesia is a nasi campur. I want to see how hot it is first. But sometimes... Unbearably hot. Sometimes just not. And that is unbearably hot. Is it? Oh. Oh my <laughs> <f> <laughs> Like up in the sun. No one. Can God open this oh. damn water? <laughs> I can usually handle hot better than hot. Ah, better. Boy, oh boy. Yeah, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that was about the best nasi champur I've ever had. I've had it in the past, and definitely nasi champur here is very delicious. I yeah. really, really enjoyed it. Yeah. But we need to stop by this next place and get a cake. So we're inside the Lagita cakes and originally I thought I could get some of these slices called the Kue Lapis, which is the Lapis cake. This is actually the heritage from the Dutch during the occupation of the Dutch in Indonesia. It's just very delicate because it has 30 layers and originally we wanted to get one but I think that's gonna be number one, it's way too big and number two, it's kind of expensive. 20 bucks for that size. Unfortunately, we have to pass this time, but absolutely check it out. So after all day of eating, we're about to go out and try to find our last two meals of the day. One is bubur gunting, which is a kind of porridge. We're not really sure where to find it yet. And the other one is some sort of noodle, which Halif knows more about than I do. And then we're gonna top it off with dessert. Let's go. First of all, we're gonna do mi tiao daging sapi, which is a noodle bowl with beef in it. And we're gonna do it right here, a restaurant called Apollo. Impressed yet? I'm glad that's two portions because if it was one portion, we wouldn't be doing this. <laughs> we would certainly wouldn't be going out again after this. Let's do this. Oh yay! Death table call. Satisaja mi tiao goreng. Minum air putih dingin dan table call. I am going to make sure that the water is open first this time before I put any hot sauce in my mouth. Earlier, I did not have a good experience with a bit of hot sauce, and it would be nice to have the cool water. Okay, uh, first of all, I was wondering why this was so expensive. I mean, $2 is not expensive, but it's, it's a lot of food. So you can see, and there's a lot of meat in there as well. All this is beef, noodles, greens, probably soy sauce, ketchup manis. I don't know if there's ketchup manis in it or not. How do you say chopsticks in Indonesia? Sumpit. Sumpit? First of all, try the main part here. It's not even chewable. It just like disintegrates in your mouth, so it's perfect. You could actually just swallow that, and in the process of swallowing it, falls apart in your mouth. It's really good. I'm glad we came here. Halif just decided that he is not as hungry as I am, so he's gonna wait until the next round at the other place. I have no problem with that because I am perfectly prepared to eat all this myself. Just tasting this has made me hungrier. Well, one of the downsides of Indonesia is that it sometimes rains, and we were just on our way to get Halif's porridge when the skies decided to open up, and here we are. We're under an awning, probably 200, 300 meters from our hotel room, and we're calling a grab to come and pick us up. When it rains, it pours, when and it, rains, it, it, is, pours. it is one of the case. Yeah. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna pick up a snack, and we are gonna take that back to our hotel room, yeah. and we're gonna call it a night, I think. Ini agak, agak dingin, mau lihat panas atau mau tunggu? Tunggu sebentar. Okay, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Well, the rain has put an end to our culinary adventure in Pontianak. Uh, the upside is I got a really good uh, noodle meal. The downside is that Halif really didn't get to eat much. The upside is we actually stopped by to get a snack. Something is called pisang goreng. One of my favorites. I love pisang goreng. So yeah, basically pisang goreng is something that's called a gorengan. Just basically deep fried stuff, right? And in this case, it is pisang, which is banana fried uh, with batter. And as a result, it's like a perfect snack. I had it with chocolate sauce on it once and Halif just rolls his eyes every time I say that because <laughs> it's not the way it works. No, well, whatever it is, but it is definitely tastes really good. It does, it's lovely. Okay, so today, we started our day with coffee, mm -hmm. and we have about seven eight, or eight meals. Seven eight or eight meals, dishes. Eight dishes. Then we stopped at Starbucks. We had two mm -hmm. expensive Starbucks coffees. That was just to get into the air conditioning. And we got four Grab, which is basically four Uber rides. rides. How much do you think we spent on everything today? All the meals, all the snack, all the taxi. I would say that we probably spent. I would have to say close to fifty dollars, which is really really inexpensive. $50? I think for all of us. Yeah. 
Less than $50. Less than $50, and I actually keep a track on what we spend, mm -hmm. and total spending is about $36. US dollars. Wow, and that includes the two Everything, coffees. right. Includes the Starbucks. Starbucks, which is, you know, a very expensive That was probably coffee $5 of that right there. So yeah, less than 40 bucks. Uh, you can eat pretty well here in Pontiana. When I said really well, is that this is not a typical day for anybody. No, 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 we eat um, what we did. That is just a small sampling of what you can find around Indonesia. There is just so much more in this country and we're going to be doing these uh do probably do a couple more of these mm, uh, mm. in various places <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna do a couple more of these as we travel around the countries and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you want to subscribe to our channel and see more delicious food around the world please hit the subscribe button and if you want to get notifications every time we post something new don't forget to hit the bell Pontianak makan terus. Terima kasih udah menerima kita di kota ini. Makanannya enak-enak. Jempol Pontianak jempol. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Terima kasih Pontianak. Eight dishes. This dishes. But it's got things like galangal, ginger, turmeric, uh, galangal. Did I say galangal?